Good evening, everybody. We are live from the secret toilets of the back streets of Sendai, Japan. Now, right now, we're exploring these back alley areas of the city of Sendai searching for true Sendai culture. You see, right now, one of the main Shotengai streets in Sendai is right down this way. However, these back streets are full of little bars, restaurants, and pretty much everything in between. In fact, off the side of these, you're more often than not likely to find drunken salarymen just resting and waiting. If we look off to the right, we've got nothing. But if we look off to the left, here we go. We've got one dude right here, just passed out, right against the wall, like the absolute piece of that he is. Just trying to hide from the camera. Hi! あ、あの、お前の you don't know? Upload. Are you a YouTuber? Upload. <laughs> Upload in Japan. Hi. Upload. Hi. 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 Seriously, he's, he's half passed out. It's been, it's been an evening of drinks. Sir, would you like to, would you like to be a, would you like to be a part of this? You can be, you can be on the stream with the, with the, the lens of Tokyo. はい。東京レンズ。東京レンズ。そうなの。楽しい。楽しいよ。そりゃ約束だよ。プロレス。何使われてもいいから。今日仕事は。ないでしょ。レッツゴー。レッツゴー。はい。I don't know. You're the one who knows Sendai. Okay, we're going to go this way. So uh, just a huge thank you right out of the gate to FTE99699 uh, for kicking off the Super Chat and Cookie Ninja for keeping the Super Chat ball rolling. Tonight we are hanging out with Chris here in Sendai and I've literally never been into these little backstreet Shotengai, so... <laughs> You're just determined to do this entire thing in Japanese, aren't you? <laughs> あの、最近あの、日本語ちょっと練習してる。練習してるんだ。でも今日は人が多いね。いや、最近はね、あの、あの、コロナの影響で、あの、誰もいない。あの、居酒屋とかあの、バーもあの、全然閉まってるね。So <笑><笑> Chris is practicing his Japanese saying lately thanks to the current state of things there's no people on the streets and the bars are empty. Yeah, I can read it. Yeah. Bunka Yoko Chone. Sapporo Biru. Sapporo Biru. My Biru. Nihon Ichiban. Nihon Ichiban. Sapporo Biru. Bunka Yoko Chone. Culture Street. Bunka Yoko Chone. The Culture Street. Full of Sapporo Biru. Nande. Uh, I came to visit a friend, but he got too drunk and I had to leave him behind. あ、いるいるいちよ。いちよ。綺麗ですよね、この。綺麗。あの、サイバーパンクみたいな道ですよね。いや、スーパーサイバーパンク。スーパーサイバーパンクですよ。めっちゃ綺麗。ね。ネオ
I'm literally just following around. Uh, a huge thank you to Chris and St. Crystal for keeping the ball rolling. Oh. Hi, Dad, no me must have war. Chris was asking if we want to have some drinks. He seems very committed to this Japanese bit today, so we're just going to run with Biru, Biru Gai, Biru. Sapporo uh, Biru. The colors in these back streets really are something else. <laughs> London car. You want to go to London? <laughs> so at this point, I'm literally just following Chris in his ultimate Japanese mode. Famima. Ah, uh, sure. I'm gonna see if we can achieve the ultimate convenience store adventure. <laughs> He's saying it is the best. Dr. Zeri. Mobile Mick, thanks so much for keeping the super chats rolling. Let's see grapefruit. <laughs> it's seriously becoming. Why not? <laughs> yeah, Unfortunately, they're all out of the Famichiki. <laughs> so the downside being that <laughs> it's okay. If you can't hear what Chris is saying, it's all right because Chris has just been speaking Japanese pretty much the entire time. Anyway, he's, he's super into practicing it. To everybody who's been dropping in super chats and whatnot, I just want to say thank you to you guys who are in here hanging out in the stream. Welcome to Tokyo Lens Explorer. If it's your first time to the channel, make sure you smash that subscribe button and don't forget to turn on the notification, notification so you don't miss anything. Rock, thank you so much for that. Nice to see this shopping street again since my last trip. All so, right. the summer. Hi. Right. Let's go. So where, oh, yep, where are we going? It's a little crowded here, so we're gonna find our way to a slightly more quiet space. <laughs> He's saying, hurry up, Mr. Lenz, hurry. Oh, I really should have peed before we left. <laughs> so this <sighs> And Annette in there always keeping the super chat ball rolling with a cup of coffee. Thank you very much. Aobadori Ichiban. That is a really long station name. So this is a long name. Sendai Hajimete this call. Sendai wa hajimete first time. Past time, they were like this. Oh. Sendan ni kite. Ano, recycle shop no doga o tsukete mashita desu yo. Oh, yeah. Mita. Mita? Um, Iya, azukashi. <laughs> eh, so ne. Chotto. Chotto. Gonna go this way? All right. Whew. This is actually quite the show tenkai space. Namae, shitte masu ka? Kono, uchi. I have never been through here. Chris Road. 
<笑>クリス・ロード<笑>クリス・ロード<笑> Really? そうだよ<笑><笑> This, This is Chris Road <笑>うん、うん<笑>わあ。クリスロード。ああ。And just want to give a happy birthday shout out to Emma Thompson.Happy birthday.And、oh. 誕生日おめでとう。誕生日おめでとうございます。And Ebbing Crescent.This live stream was a nice surprise. Wait, is that Dave in Japan?Maybe. It's Dave in a pan. こんばんはって。And the ever famous Slices of Japan. Thank you so much for the stream. This has been pure comedy gold so far. This is for a beverage of your choice on me. Enjoy. Thank you so much. Whew. I know it doesn't really look like it, but we are booking it. Hi. Hi. <laughs> And Adi Juicy is saying beer for both. There's never too much beer or fried chicken. You're gonna sit here? All right. It's beautiful. Thank you very much. We're gonna have a seat on these benches here. Benzo Sama. Hi. Go you could read all the. I got those eye mouths. That's all, man. Come back to me. ワンカップサケワンカップサケあとレシ袋はいありがとうございます I get, I get it all it's all,、うん、it's all for me pop that in there I guess these yeah we're good 誰もいないね誰も<笑> just sticking to the bit ああ I mean, I'm gonna, I, got, I got one free hand, so I'm gonna, you hold on to that. I'm gonna do this. Done, and. Kampai. 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 Kampai to all of you. Okay. Finally gonna speak a little bit of English. Are you a YouTuber? Are you a YouTuber? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I Chris, killed off that character. Finally here. Takeshi Tsumori. He's dead now. <laughs> Back to Chris Broad. <laughs> How are you doing? What's、That's, going on? Yeah, doing How was good. my Japanese? It was absolutely beautiful. Good. It was, it was gorgeous in its own way. Excellent. I、uh, just want to give a huge a thout out, uh, shout out and thank you. A thout out. 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 Thank you to everybody who's dropping in the super chat right now. t h i s spectacular. I've got. <laughs> <laughs> How are you doing then? How's、yeah. it feeling in Sendai? It's nice to be back in Sendai. Uh, last time I came to Sendai, unfortunately, I, this gimbal sucks.、Mm. I wasn't able to,、uh, to visit you last time because I、yeah. think you were doing a project with Ryotaro at the time. Well, I was with Risotero filming a tree or something.、Yeah. Filming a tree. Great、Did、to see you both alive videos, is Dennis. Thank you, Dennis. Thank you very much. It's good much. to see you too. What are you up to, guys? Having a fun day today? I like how Chris's voice just drops a couple of octaves when speaking Japanese. I think everybody's voice drops. Yours does. Yeah, yeah. As soon as I go into Japanese, I go from this to. I don't know why that is. It's just. Japanese, actually, I learned It's maybe. It's easier to a, speak deeper, I find. A year ago, Japanese is actually a half octave lower than,、mm. like, English. It just it sounds more natural. No.、Yeah. You don't go. Oh, my God, I'm all shinder. Like, it doesn't work. It doesn't work. Oh, my God, I'm all shinder. Yeah. yeah. Are you YouTuber? I'm at work. Are you YouTuber? If only Dogen was there. Working from home, 2 30. Shit. 2 30. Working from home. It's like the worst time in the How day. How dare you watch this show and have fun? You should be working at Furious home. Furious Beast, thanks so much. Building, building back better. Thank you again. <laughs> One cup sake is the drink I'll go for when I come to Japan. Now, don't. Don't, no, don't do it. You will regret that. I、don't. can't drink it. I'm surprised you, you want it and it's gone. Oh, <laughs> that if you don't, it almost went right over the edge. And Chris actually managed to catch it at the very last、Power. second. Slices of Japan in there with another stamp. Thank you so much. Who's this slice、and、of Japan? They're too nice. Two favorite YouTubers together. h a v e an absolute blast. Thank you. 
So the name is amazing. Slices of Japan. Slices of Japan. Is it a pizza restaurant? No. In a kibukuro? You, you think it would be. Yeah. Or at least an amazing YouTube channel. But Slices of Japan just managed to secure themselves a really good name. Slices of Japan. Love Hotel Win. Is Slices so Slice of Japan? Is it a YouTube channel? No, it's like, it's just the username. That's too good for a username. I know. Whenever that's I, what whenever I... Whenever I read out comments, it's like, Barry7461852, which sounds like a robot having sex and having an orgasm. Like... It's not like Slice of Japan. <laughs> there That's goes cool. the PG-13 yeah, rating. PG-13. <laughs> Children Lots of love. love. We'll be hanging out to a mod while Children I work. Thank you, this. Cheyenne. Children don't watch this. You've got, no. Your beard's too But that's exactly the same thing that I said, that it's too good to just be a username. It's got to be like a YouTube channel name. Definitely. Slices of Japan. Slices of Japan. There's got to be documentaries put up on Did you there. guys feel the earthquake? You were not in Tokyo, were you? I was in Tokyo, oh. and that shelf in my room... It's gone. <laughs> just disappeared. Not the Tokyo <laughs> Land shelf. Good it lord. Just, it literally <laughs> evaporated. I was I, interesting. I was on a bullet train. I was just leaving Tokyo. Oh. And on the train, there was like a <laughs> siren I've never heard before. And I just thought it was someone's phone alarm or something. Um, yeah. And only afterwards did I discover it was a massive earthquake and everyone was terrified and going on Twitter being like, earthquake! <laughs> Do you remember? Uh, you were here for the, the big earthquake in 2011. No. Okay. How many years later? So, the, the earthquake yesterday was one of the first earthquakes since then. Also, favorite cup of noodle is the seafood one. Um, it's one of the, the first ones that's actually scared me. Oh, really? Because they say this, the side shake, is fine. They're like, any building can hold up to that, but they can't build them to handle this. Right. This one started with two bumps. Oh, shit. It went bump, bump. And as soon as that happened, I was like, oh, God, not there again. Was, there was a really big one this year in, I think, March, when mm. I was in Hokkaido. And it was in Sendai. And people in Tokyo did feel it, but it wasn't that bad. But up here, it was really big. And in Hokkaido, where I was, the hotel was like... Burp, 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 burp. And I, like, ran out of the hotel room, into the corridor, down the stairs, 12 flights of stairs, got to the bottom of the stairs where the exit door was, and it wouldn't open. And I was like, yep. well, I'm going to die then. And, uh, and I went to the lobby, and everyone was just calm. It was really anticlimactic. Yeah. But the, why wouldn't you have an exit door that works? It's really ridiculous. We, as soon as things start shaking in the earthquake, a lot of those doors get jammed and you can't mm. open them, right? So they say when an earthquake hits, one of the first things you should do is turn off the gas and open mm. all the doors. Right? Absolutely. So, yeah. Yeah. So right now, since I've left my house, I have three tripods leaning up against my shelf on like a 45 degree <laughs> angle with like chairs jammed up against it just in case. Because they said there's at least a 30% chance of another major earthquake happening in the Tokyo area oh, within the next, like, two weeks. There was a comment from Jay that said, uh, you should film your own death, Chris. That's if, a really aggressive If I spend more time with Ryotaro, I'm sure I will capture my death on a drone shot. Wow. And he died, like, three times with him. Someone um, to tell you to film your own wow. Okay. Film your own wow. <laughs> film your own wow. That's a... Uh... And uh, another one for Chris speaking beautiful Japanese. I want to rival Norm's Japanese. Norm's really good. I just enjoy yeah. it. I was lucky. Yeah. Lived with some Japanese people in Canada. Think of the content of your own Chris. Think of think your content of, of your dead think Chris. Think of the content of your I won't be able to think of the content. I'll be too busy being dead, won't I? In a bucket of soil. In a bucket? Um, <laughs> why is it a bucket of soil? I don't how know. Small are That's you? how I'm going to die. Chris, how did you meet Ryotaro? Um, at a drinking That's party. A good question. No, I didn't meet him at a drinking party. I met Ryotaro um, one minute from where we're sitting right now, actually. Really? I would show you, but it's a really boring location. <laughs> it's it's we a went, parking lot. And we <laughs> went for a fine sushi dinner. And he talked for about two hours about his life and how he enjoyed Seattle. And I sat there going, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And that was how we met. It was great. Greetings from Chile. Love to see you two together. Chris, you didn't read my donations from your live stream the other day. I hate you. I've unsubbed. I hate you so much. <laughs> hashtag sad. Hashtag abroad in the world. What was your comment? I'm so sorry. I, there was, that live stream was absolutely chaos. But I couldn't <laughs> keep up. I, I, I can imagine. I, I, I think I read out 98% of everything. Wow. Um, but it was a lot. Um, okay. So I'm really sorry, mate. Um, but do like, leave a comment now and I'll try and read it. Yeah. Chris, when's the next studio stream? You bet it's going to happen sometime one day, next time in the future, can it, can next I, month. Can I say that I... No, uh, no. <laughs> you want to have... How many subscribers you got? Uh, five. Ten. 100,000? No, I got, I got five subscribers. Ten. Fifteen subscribers. How many, how many subscribers you got on Take Your Lens? Twenty-five. Now? <laughs> 250,000 uh, 300,000 maybe around there you've got to have like 
500,000 oh, subs sorry. to be on a, a Broad in Japan oh, okay. live stream. Yeah, I, I Unless realize. you're someone like Dogen, who's just good. And, and he's just, he can just come on anyway. He's got Some that, people have to. He's got you know. the sweater. Chris, what are your opinions on dying, a horrifying death alone while suffering, thinking your life is useless? Great content, by the way. Love and peace. Thank you. Um, <laughs> you know, I, I'm not worried about dying, I'm worried about not living. You know, wow. that's. that's Right, stop what you're doing, get a big A3 piece of paper, write that out, put it on the wall, done. And subscribe to Broad Japan. Two things to do tonight. Fair enough. And I just want to say a huge thank you to Type Beast, who helped put together some of the Explore Always merch, as well as finalize the, uh, the final design of the Tokyo Lens logo. So thank you for, for that. Um, Chris, can we move on from the Chris death comments? No. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's what's happening, isn't it? It's a uh, creepy... Creepy siren in the What's background. What's interesting, because we're in Sendai, in Tohoku, people here won't talk to you, ever. What if we're mean? in Osaka right now, like those locals would have been like, wow, my God, some people doing a thing in the street. Yeah. But in Are Sendai, nobody talks to you. Which really? Which I kind of like in some respects, but it's also kind of sad. I was really surprised the first time that I ever went to Korea, because in Japan, a lot of people, if you're filming yourself, will like walk behind you and look at the camera, mm. right? But in Korea, you're invisible when you're recording mm. yourself. That's true, yeah. They don't really... Care. They're yeah. just like you are just like they'll you're just invisible. Chris, I'm gonna be an ALT next week on the jet program. Oh nice, congrats. What advice do you have? Where are you gonna be, mate? Uh what's your name? King RO98. Where are you gonna be placed? But good luck to you. I hope you end up somewhere nice like Fukuoka or Kanazawa or Hokkaido. Can you name any places that aren't nice? Uh where where do you live? <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> um, yeah, so somebody asked if there are any more documentaries. Chiba. There's an Chiba. Oh, <laughs> oh, and Saitama, horrible. Just, just kicked them in the nuts. So, uh, next documentary is actually coming up this weekend. It's a follow up to one of the biggest pieces we've done, and it's going to be a ton of fun over on the Tokyo Lens channel. What's it going to be? It's uh, basically just a salamander dancing to um, the, the sounds. Your, your content's getting better, better by the week, no? <laughs> Every a single salamander week. dancing in the street. The Any advice for a 23-year-old who just graduated? Try as much stuff as you can. Just try a ton of stuff. You're not going to know what you love. You're not going to know what you want to do until you try a lot of stuff. Just do everything. Just go overseas, really. Mm. Have, have a bit of fun, all right? Do things you haven't done before. I've got another quote. Before. got another quote for you, right? Okay. Last, what was the last quote? I'm not afraid of dying, I'm afraid of never living. Okay. Ne next quote. Before you die, your life flashes before your eyes. Make sure you have a great showreel where there you're go. dying. There's a better way of phrasing that shit. Let Probably think is. I'll let you work through it. David Lee, thank you so much for that. Get some stronger drinks. We absolutely will. When your life flashes before your eyes, make sure the showreel is worth watching. Mm. Yeah, put that on the wall next to the last quote. By the end of this night, I want a big fucking A3 sheet of paper covered in quotes and take a photo, uh. go on Twitter, <laughs> don't let Norm film the live show because he can't <laughs> do it, he's rubbish. Dude, I'm holding my arm, you guys can't see it. I've been holding my arm out like this, like this entire time just to fit us in this shot. And you're like, don't let Norm film. You want to hold the camera? No. You want? Yeah, I didn't think you want to hold the camera. Fuck <laughs> I'll show you, it's properly done. Oh my goodness. All right. How, do, how does it why are turn you so, then? Why are we so? How does it turn? You uh, you can just angle it to turn oh, it. That oh. is the wrong way. All right. Um, All right. And uh, someone was saying, have you ever considered doing an abroad in the world series? I mean, Natsuki and I were considering going to the U.S. Uh, uh, and then COVID happened. But beyond that, yeah, hopefully, you know, I'd love to travel the world. Travel mm. is what keeps me alive and happy. Um, mm. It's been really painful not to be able to travel this year. As I'm sure, like many of you guys know, right? Not be able to come to Japan, right? God, I just... You know, somebody the other day said something... There are very, like... Okay, somebody said the, something the other day that actually, like, straight up really offended me. And they're like, oh, you guys are so happy to not have any of us travelers in Japan. Yeah. You have Japan all to yourself. I, I was so offended by this, because, like, I... Like, seriously, I want them... It's very, very different. It feels too quiet. It like yeah, it was I, interesting for a month or two, mm. but it's not interesting anymore. Like yeah, I mean it, it has its charms. Like going somewhere like Kyoto, which I know both of us have done. That's been really We've nice. Done it though, you, you know? you, that's that's pretty cool. But like for the most part, 
it sucks. I want yeah. friends and family to come here. I want you guys to come here. I'd love to do a meet up and stuff. Yeah. And it's just been like a never ending thing. And, it, and you don't know when it's going to end. Chris, are you going back to the UK for Christmas? I'd like to, but there seems to be no oil, gas, chickens or pigs in blankets. So I'm considering going back. But yeah, I do really want to. You can hold it now. <laughs> I'm having it. Oh, no. Yeah, what are you? <laughs> it was always going to happen. Uh, yeah, it was... It Ruined was the streets of the Sendor. They're just destroyed. I've uh, been a long-time supporter. First time making live. Uh, love from Canada. Hi. Uh, like the weird videos you guys do together, especially the Love Hotel one. That that wasn't me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the, the, the Love Hotel one. Probably the oh the abandoned one the abandoned one oh, well, that yeah, was that, pretty fucking that was me As the, love hotels the other go. one was just the the dirtiest or most disgusting yeah, yeah. or grossest I can't believe you yeah, went there with horrible. another dude I just still got PTSD to be honest understandably so um, um give me a strong zero and I'll hold your camera if I ever see you in Japan honestly if I could pay people with strong zeros just to hold <laughs> the camera absolutely. I'm John Michael Des. I'm drunk here. Your words are like slurred to fuck. I'm reading as fast as possible because I don't want to miss stuff. It's what I have. Crescent Bunny is. Uh, now I'm like. Now I'm self conscious to read in front of you. He's I've been subscribed to both of your channels and finally. I made a live stream. This is so uncomfortable to read this way. Norm and Chris, that's both of us. That's two names. Uh, <laughs> You're right on depth, Norm. <laughs> Clearly. <laughs> Clearly. Uh, it's it's Chris good to finally Bunny. watch you. I'll read the Thank comments you so you much. Want. Okay. You hold the camera. You're, clearly, you know, it's the British uh, channel. Get. 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 Get lit. Get lit. Just, get, that's who was that? So, who was that? Jack Lee. Cheeky Jack. Thank you, Jack. Thank you so much. Comparing Norman Chris's facial hair reminds me of the meme, you versus the guy she tells you not to worry about. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Uh, that, you missed Dylan's question in Japanese. Did I miss what was it? You read it out, like, it took you half an hour to read the comment out. And I, they just it didn't, didn't take it. me half an hour. You, it's like 15 minutes. You don't deserve to be. At best. Yeah. Konnichiwa, hello. Watashi no namai wa John. I'm John. Um, John Michael, yes. I've come from Japan. Yihonkara. What's that mean? Mean... Oh, you can't read Japanese, can you? <laughs> you can't read Japanese, can you? You can't read. You can, can speak a lot, you can't read it, right? I can speak a lot, but my kanji is about half of what it used to be because I don't need to read anymore. Awkward. The sound. Norm is regretting the arrangement. You bet he is. Should Norm we carry on walking? Let's get out. You've already ruined this street. Spilling your Clearly, it's an absolute, absolute disaster. Oh my god, my bag was so wet. I'm gonna put that in my pocket, and I'm gonna take this, right. and we will hit some back streets. Just keeping in mind that that side of the camera, mm. the mic just cuts out, so you like can't hear anything on that side. Oh, really? It prioritizes everything that's on this side. Oh. Back streets. So right now we are. How about this street? Isn't no, it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. no? Trust me, Mr. Lent. Chris! Where in the US were you and Natsuki thinking of going? Um, like New York, Chicago, Kansas, Utah, Texas. That's all the places. California, Washington, Oregon, Maryland, or Maryland, as it's known. Um, yeah, pretty much everywhere, there, really. And uh, for those of you writing my name in Japanese, it's actually no rumu instead of no mu. Uh, no rumu. No rumu. No rumu. No rumu. No rumu. This is the building where I met Ryotre. Ah. It's, a, it's a really boring building. I don't know what we met out the front of here. There's like 400 security cameras. <laughs> Slightly intimidating. It's Ryotre, isn't it? It's be... <laughs> <laughs> Chris, you cheered us up during a tough year. Me and the missus, Hope to come to Japan one day you are you you are your team are great you and the team are great absolute legend thank you very much guys I hope you're able to um, to come here for yourself soon do you have to quarantine if you come to Japan I'll tell you right now out of the gate the answer is probably <laughs> yes and we don't know anything about the, the, the procedures they're constantly changing we don't know anything about when the borders opening we are just 
but humble content creators who walk into polls repeatedly. So, can't really tell you much about when borders are gonna open and all that stuff. Oh man, finally caught a live stream. Yay, glad you caught it. Hello, hello. Uh, again, if you are just joining in right now, it would mean the absolute world if you would give that subscribe button some love. Don't forget to turn on notifications so you don't miss any of the impromptu live streams or content. Look at so. you selling your fucking channel. Absolutely, I'm gonna sell the channel. I love this channel. Hit the subscribe this button. This is the freaking hangout, man. Hit the subscribe the Tokyo button. Tokyo Lens Explore channel. And the this is where we get to do guys. just the face to face hangouts. Yes, Hit the I'm notification gonna... bell. Hit the notification. Shut up. <laughs> like you've literally never said it. It's your full time job. What YouTube? It is. What YouTube? Are you a YouTuber? <laughs> Good time. Busy Sendai Street. We'll get over this road, and they'll be nice and quiet. Woo! What's the? They are. I love your work, guys. You both produce my favourite stuff. And the comments are moving so fast. I love your content. Thank you very much, Timothy. I hope you're having a good afternoon, morning, evening. I like it Where when are you? people share out the documentaries. Yeah. You know, it's... What I want to know is, Chris, you and Natsuki should check out Arches National Park and Zion Canyon. Yeah, I really want to go to Zion National Park. So much. I think my view is, I did a live show like three nights ago, and they were like, where do you want to go in America, Chris? And I was like, Zion <laughs> National Park, Zion National Park. And they were like, okay, why do you want to go there? But that's where I want to go. Did Zion you, National Park did in you, Utah. Did Let's you just do the go. American accent again? No. <laughs> where do you want to go in America, Chris? A lot of back streets there. We're like a boy band. Yes, we are. Because the back streets are not crowded. They're quiet. They're just a chill place to hang yeah, out. Yeah, I mean, Sendai is pretty busy tonight. The, the city has been dead for three mm. months now. Actually, mm. well, longer than that, really. Uh, almost the whole year. And so it's nice to finally be back here. Everything's open. There's excitement at every turn. You've got Tokyo Beard here. It's great. We're yeah, Tokyo talk. Beard here. Thank you. We're having Thank a you. great time. Last time that I was here, though, it was incredibly quiet at night. Like, I stepped out, went to the Combini to grab a drink. Yeah. And there was nobody. Yeah, There's yeah, like yeah. crickets in the city. It's, it's been sad. I, it's been kind of depressing seeing what Sendai's been like. So, in case you guys are wondering, and I know you are, this right here is Chris's new office. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> that is really cool, though, isn't it? It is, with all the vines the, um, on there. Sort of vines going over the side of the building. Yeah. Like a post-apocalyptic dystopian future. <laughs> and there's the accent again. You both made this year. Let's go this way. Of endless homework drudgery much brighter thank you for your content how did you guys meet and you both kept me saying hey chris how did you guys meet how did i meet lens how did uh, you meet lens what we did we went to pasta we went for pasta didn't we yeah a jolly good jolly good lunch with pasta chris In... slipped into my dms and <laughs> we had a pasta date we went to lovely. i don't remember i mean we met in Ueno. yep yep in front of Ueno station and we were like, where should we go for lunch? And I don't know why I said it like that, but that's what I said it like. And we decreed that pasta was the, the first choice, yep. the easiest choice. We had pasta, and then I told Norm okay. his thumbnails were rubbish. Yep. He should up his game. Okay, I gotta, okay, I'm gonna, whoo. Oh, the, the camera. This is it's pretty just, interesting lighting. It's, it quite, it's quite fun doing these, um, these live shows out at night in the streets, because you can use like, the natural lighting, the ambience, mm. to your advantage. I, my arm was starting to die. And try Zach saying, thank you for your content. You and everyone else have given an inspiration to learn a language. We've been studying for a year, but I love it. Please stay safe. Inspiration. Thank you. If you want inspiration to learn Japanese, go to the first eight or nine minutes of this video. If you missed it, I spoke entirely in Japanese. And yeah. it was good, right? How much would you say I got right? I would say at least 60%. Oh, <laughs> bye, uh, bye, yeah, bye. Honestly, it was hotondo. If, if you were, if you were like blind or your eyes were concealed, would you think I was a Japanese person? Uh, I would think you were a Japanese person who spent a lot of time in the UK. Oh, I did. It's not good enough really, is it? Ugh, fine. It's good enough. Mind you, 
I'll be honest. When you actually speak Japanese, I would believe it. Oh. But when you were putting it on, all right, all right, all right. you were you're playing a character, mm. and and the character had like a Reginald feel to it. Takeshi Tsumori. Yeah. It was like Takeshi Reginald Tsumori. There was a Reginald in there. Chris, try to stop him. Norm's bad habit of jaywalking. You do jaywalk. I, I jaywalk. Hi, I'm from bit. Illinois. How many different languages do you guys know? All of them. You know English, French, and Japanese, right? English, French, and Japanese. My French is absolutely horrid, though. How do you say, I want to I want to fly in a plane with, and eat chocolate in French? I want to fly in a, in a plane, plane and, eat, and chocolate eat chocolate in French. Go. In French. Je m'appelle... <laughs> je m'appelle, je m'appelle Claude. How do, you, how do you say I want to fly on a plane and eat chocolate in French? I, I, like, why would you give me such an obscure You're from language? Canada. You're supposed to be fluent we, in French. It's the second language. You're supposed to be, well, but language, like, I'm not the only else. Canadian you know. Why are you targeting me? This do is it. literally targeted Spread harassment. I'm give just, me the French I deserve. Absolutely. You, you, you told me if this stream had over 1,500 viewers, this would be a record. There's 2,500 people watching it. There, where my, is Sharla? She lives in Sendai now. Go get her. Don't know. No clue. Last time I was she's, here, she's I She's sitting in a room ashamed at your French. Clearly. I'm I a bet bad she can Canadian. Speak French better than you can. Je no. m'appelle no. How do you say I, I'm in a plane in French? I don't know how to say I'm in a plane in French. Fuck it now. Disgraceful. Yeah, you said it here. Yeah. No. Je, that, je, je m'appelle la, na, la nana. That's I'm bananas. I'll do. I'll do. Let's carry on walking. Okay. Uh, you, you didn't see my Good message no, last stream. A norm chime in. What do you think should be the theme for the next JAJ? Journey Across Japan? I'd love to see, yeah, I'd love the to see a theme? theme park one. It should be Journey Across Japan Snow Edition. We should go somewhere with lots snow. of snow and igloos and excitement. You've thought that through. Yeah. I got accepted to take Japanese as an extracurricular activity. So excited to start. Good luck. Awesome. Good luck. Make slurring his words. Let's go. I'm not slurring my words, I'm slurring your words. Into the darkness of Sendai. I really, like every step we take is a reminder that I should have gone to the washroom. <laughs> <laughs> the best thing is, I there's like no toilets anywhere in this side of town. I've noticed. Even the convenience stores don't my eyes have open. toilets. That show ten guy we were at. Yeah, oh, I was a toilet. Like yeah. every five hundred meters, there was a toilet. There is a toilet. Yeah. There were multiple. You couldn't, you you couldn't take ten steps without a toilet. Yeah. Yeah. It was wonderful. But... What I want to know from the viewers is, what are you doing right now? How are you watching this? Are you in a bed? Are you in a car? Are you on a bus? Are you flying a plane? Where are you watching this live stream from, guys? Let us know in the comments. I hope you're not flying a plane. If you are flying a plane, it explains Chris's fear of flying. <laughs> if you're watching live streams. True. It's very true. Oh. Met life. Watch out, Norm. Almost got hit by a bicycle. always be aware of your surroundings in Japan. There's so many bicycles, it's like a video game. It's like Pac-Man or something. Backstreet? Uh, Let's do it. Yeah. It's a narrow back street. Yeah, shot this. Okay, we're gonna show you guys where we're walking. Turn this around Why don't we make it like a bit? video game? Like if you do it over the shoulder, like here. Yeah, but then they can't hear you. Video game. Okay. Okay. You can narrate me. Alright, here we go. We're a video game now. Yep. <laughs> Welcome to GTA 6, Sendai Edition, the GTA we all deserve. We've gone into it. End of the video game. <laughs> yeah. It was so good. It's the end of the fun section of the live stream. <laughs> Get wow. Get Get Somebody shot. literally just commented with kick an old lady, please. No. No. The Tokyo Lens channel is about fun, not violence. If you want Favorite. violence, go and watch Sea Dog VA. Favorite walking simulator. It's so narrow. We got to do it. <laughs> Why are you looking at it's me like that? It's like the opening of a power movie, isn't it? Dun, dun. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. That is so cool. <laughs> Chris is having way too much fun with this live stream. It's a stunning stream. It really, it really is. is. I, I 
Yeah. Chris, later, thanks. <laughs> Just clocked out on my work laptop at my home office in Hungary. It's actually a nice car right there. I'm feeling rather hungry right now. Let's get a photo of this street. Yeah. Wow. What a street. Beautiful, beautiful. I was gonna get a photo too, and then I realized that I've only got the crappy phone. Oh, yeah. Oh, fucking yeah, mate. I'm gonna put that on fucking Instagram when I get that. <laughs> oh, yeah. Seriously, nice car though, bro. <laughs> I gave him like I gave a thumbs up and like nodded at him and he was like yeah give me the rock star mark Sendai's good I, you know, I forgot how good Sendai is uh. because I, I haven't been out at night in, in months now so you know it's been a while since just hitting the city you know it has. um superfluous information Japan has hit over 70% on first vaccination rate hey. and cleared well over 60 on double dose. Oh, we're turning around. Hello. Hey guys, what's your favorite part of the YouTube game? Planning, shooting, editing, or something else? I'm going to go shooting the whole yeah, way. Yeah, I absolutely agree. I, I absolutely love coming out with the camera, getting the angles, getting the interviews, getting the excitement. Yeah. Editing is okay, but it can really get to you a little bit. Like, yeah. You're just, you're just spending loads of time indoors at the computer going, oh my God, I've got to finish this video. Oh gosh. Yeah. And, you know, filming is just the funnest bit. Really you're actually is. doing, you're enjoying, you're experiencing. All right, mm. up here. We're going up this way? We're going up this way. Why are you two not wearing coats? It's October. Because it's 22 degrees outside. Yeah, it's pretty hot. It's, I'm hot actually hot. sweating right now. Yeah, I'll hold the camera. Ah, oh, there we go. If you want something done, don't get Takeo Lens to do it. All right. I'm laying on a bed in Florida. What was that? I'm laying on a bed in Florida thinking about coffee. It's 10 a.m. How far are you from home? Where is home, Yvette? Where is home? I'm... Home is home is several hundred kilometers from home. Indeed, That's I eight am miles. I'm about three kilometers from home. All right, so here we go. This is Tokyo Lens. How do you turn this fucking <laughs> what camera? You, what are you <laughs> doing? Stupid technology. All right, so this is a, a street in Sendai. It's called uh, Jozen Jozenji Dori. It's a uh, it's a street lined with trees. It's very beautiful. Sendai is of course known as the city of trees because it has lots of trees no other city in japan has a tree only sendai um of course you already know that uh nazim says chris i like you are you wearing a seiko watch all the best from manchester <laughs> i'm not wearing a seiko watch i'm wearing a watch by a company called bearing i think they're a danish a danish watch company they're pretty good all right let's carry on and let's go to lens cam take your lens cam look at that Fantastic. I feel like I'm playing the Take A Lens video game. It's a game primarily comprised of beards and disappointment. Um, <laughs> Apparently, if you go to... Van says, I can't unsee Connor's nipples, Chris. Help me. The trick is unsubscribe from Sea Dog VA. <laughs> Oh God, I'm hitting all the wrong buttons. Okay, so, what, how are you finding Sendai so far? I'm liking it. You're liking it? Good. Let's go this way. This way? Yeah, you go that way, I'll go this way. Okay. All right, let's turn the camera back. God, this is hard. There we go, nope. <laughs> Fucking crappy technology. <laughs> you worst, tell Chris is so accustomed to IRL streaming. Worst, I would be the worst. IRL real life streamer ever, you know, shit. This is, this is like a taste of what it would be like if I did an IRL stream. Just disappointment. You're not gonna make and this crappy light. camera angles. We didn't make the light. Well, I didn't want to make the light. I want to go up here. What is this? This is a park in the middle of a road. Isn't that exciting? Isn't so that exciting. isn't that worth watching tonight? I can't see the park. All right, 
Let's go, let's turn the camera. Look at that. Can you play Texas Hold'em for cash in Japan? Yeah, not legally, not that I know of. Maggie says, it's the first time I have a chance to thank you, Chris and Norm, for your awesome content during a live stream. Cheers to you guys, enjoy the night. Thank you very much, Maggie. I hope you're having a good uh, afternoon or evening, wherever you might be in the big wide world. You can take over the camera. <laughs> Chris hit a bunch of buttons that made him panic for a second and just handed me the camera, so. Show, show the good people of Tokyo Lens that street. How cool is that? So I have to go down there later. Absolutely. Would you recommend renting a bicycle and going for a night ride? No. Chris, yes. No, it's just too, not, night riding's not fun. Chris is like, so not much fun. Chris's <laughs> last live stream was about people asking Chris to stop, to, <laughs> was about Chris asking people to stop their loved ones from watching him. Yes, it was that. Is that a, is that a real thing? Okay, so do you want to explain this statue? Uh, that statue is not suitable for work. <laughs> 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 Did you get this, this video gets demonetized now. Let's sit down for a bit. Uh, All right. All right. Big naked statue. <laughs> there we go. Have uh, a seat, Mr. Lens. Mr. Broad, oh, I'm watching, abroad. I'm watching the take <laughs> <right there. laughs> He's, he's got that look like, why is my pocket so hot? And then he realizes that he's watching the Tokyo Lens stream in his pocket. Jason saying, home is where the heart is. Mine's still in Japan. Thank you both for what you do. Always enjoy it. Thank you so much for that. Chris, have another lemon. Lemon. A lemon. Have another, <laughs> I'm just going to stop talking now. We're doing a lemon. I have a lemon drink. Okay, so I'm gonna open up this one cup with my knees. One cup, suck it. And I'm gonna try not to spill one cup all yeah. over my crotch. <laughs> one crotch. One crotch, suck it. Oh, it's everywhere already. It's been seconds, it's not even open and it's everywhere. Oh, my knees are so wet. Fucking hell, this is a disgrace. Oh, this is terrible. Okay. One crotch, suck it. Oh, there's a picture in the back of the cup of some really terrible looking human. This is, look at this. Uh, oh yeah, it's kind of unpleasant. <laughs> it's incredibly unpleasant. Yeah. How is it? <sighs> I haven't it's, had one cup sake in like eight years. It's exactly as bad as you remember it. It's horrible. It's 1 a.m. in Australia. Go to bed. You can't be up at 1 a.m. That's way too late. It's far too late. Sleep should happen. It's a, it's a thing. If you could describe, describe. If you could describe this experience in three words, what would those words be? If I could describe this live stream in three words, Chris oh, Norman drunk. Chris Norman drunk. Mm -hmm. Yo, Chris and Norman love the videos. Are there many Yatai Mura in Sendai? Um, there's not. I don't think there's a single Yatai Mura in Sendai, but there are lots of little alleyways and mm. side streets that we saw <laughs> right at the start of this video. We went down the best one, mm. and oh my god, that's the biggest mosquito in the world. Oh, I remember I was here doing a video about two months ago and I got huh. so badly bitten. Worse than what's on your arm right now? Yeah, I've got, I've got a bit never... I've got a really bad bite on my arm. Oh, you can see it. You oh, can shit. kind of see it. It is insane. Look at that. And that was Chris's... in my apartment. I don't even think I've got a mosquito Chris's in my Chris's arms aren't usually that big. They're like this. <laughs> That's just swelling. Uh, I want to give a, a huge thank you before I miss it oh, I got to John a Pierre. Huge, Shut up! I'm slurry, not talking about slurry. And welcome. I'm not slurring that much. I'm enunciating all yeah. of my Englishes. Enunciation. Enunciation. Uh, Zephyr saying, ran out to get a few more drinks after seeing you guys are streaming. Here to a few more drinks for you guys. You guys are the only YouTubers I enjoy watching. Oh, that's super awesome. Thank you. Get more drunk are the final three I'm not words drunk. He is. of that comment. You can tell because he's just like, oh, okay. we're have loads of fun, guys. <laughs> Honestly, we're gonna walk around we should Saturday. probably give a little context that at dinner, I ordered like two drinks and they gave me four. So that was a thing I was not expecting. Excellent. Uh, yo. Yoka Bean, you should probably make a video explaining the teen party games like Spin the Bottle or Seven Minutes in Heaven to Japanese Love people. Utah. Love from Utah. Lucky devil. 
I should explain that to Natsuki and see how he reacts. Bromance night out. For, <laughs> for shizzle. I'm currently working uh, and living vicariously through you guys from Charlotte, North Carolina. Oh, nice. I nearly went there once and you did, didn't you? For yeah. uh, an amazement. Yeah. It was an amazing. It was an anime convention. I'm doing anime again in like two weeks. That's an amazing. Are it's you an amazing? Are you going to North Carolina? No, I'm doing it remotely this time. We're doing it like through a stream. Am I getting paid? An amazement. I'm, I'm, they're making billions of dollars. I have no idea. They're not paying you, are they? I have no clue. I'll... It's a family. It's an amazing. It's really an amazing. What it it's, is. I've been encouraging Chris to I go forever. I didn't want to go because it's primarily about anime, right? I don't know anything about anime. It's and not. It's a Japan like culture festival above all else. But I don't know anything about culture. You're the I one. I don't know anything about culture. You play like a shamisen. Right? Yeah. So the you, first you time I went culture, there, you played with the Yoshida brothers we, who copyright striked my Fuji video. So it's great. Just won't let it. So it's been what five years now that that's been being. Th I didn't do it. Tell them <laughs> next time you see him, sort the shit out. I did. I did. I love both of your content. Keep up the great work. I hope Chris's studio is not on fire. Uh, do you guys watch Japanese movies? Anyone you'd recommend, says John. Zatoichi. I really want to watch that. Uh, I recommend Tampopo, Juzo Itami, 1985. Tampopo, amazing film. Ken Watanabe is in it, and it's a, it's a great film. Zatoichi is another good one. Why oh. am I doing all the talking? It's your stream. How much, so how much of the money do I get from this? Sure. Ah, uh, boys, we're going to get an impromptu like love hotel 50%? review. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> Whatever you Is want, that man. Amazing? Well, it's an incredible. Whatever you want, Sitting dude. out here, being eaten alive by mosquitoes. There's literally I deserve, not even one. I deserve the one on your arm. share of the revenue. What's your favorite sake? Uh, what's this one right here? Uh, on, a, on a cup. Ozeki. On a, on a coupe. On a cup. Uh, from NYC. Oh, I love NYC. Uh, great to see you guys enjoying yourself. Big fan of yourself. <laughs> enjoying, eh? I was going to say, right? Joe says that Yosei says, Yose says we should do karaoke. I was actually thinking, let's do karaoke. How can we get around copyright? We can. Fuck's sake. We can. What if we it. sing That's... too much Volcano? Your favorite song. We, we like watched if that, I... like five versions of that today. If I play too much Volcano right now, can I copyright strike the video? <laughs> like, <laughs> if you okay, let's find out. We're gonna find out if Chris can copyright strike the video by playing too much volcano. Yeah. If he does, steal the revenue. I'm gonna. Everyone must be so sick of this video, this song. But you love it, don't you? It's your favorite. I love it so much. It's my, it's my alarm clock in the morning. Motto. Man, but the hills in the grotto. <laughs> you know the words? Yeah, most of them. Well, I was there, dude. How many times did I hear this song? Ah. Uh, that should be enough. That should be enough that for should be Chris. enough of the song to copyright strike it. Copyright strike my video and steal all the revenue. Congrats. I'm glad you have achieved that in life. You must feel really <laughs> yeah. good about yourself. I, I think we should make a follow-up to Too Much Volcano right now. I've watched Chris three times in three days. Norm loved the Sega video. The Sega video was so much fun and such a challenge. Emotional. So. In a word, emotional. I cried from start to finish. <laughs> when I saw your face, <laughs> I was like, no, make it stop. But no, it was quite a good video, to be fair. This is why I drink. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. So this is the app I made Too Much Volcano on. Oh my God, you can see the comments. It's comment inception, fucking yes. So I got this app called Launchpad, right? We're gonna make a song right now. Can you rap? Of course I can, you can. I can rap. You're from Toronto, all right. That makes Sitting in the park, it's kind of dark. You can see in the window. I don't know what runs the window. <laughs> window. Indo. Alright, what about? It's quite good Sitting there, isn't it? Here with Chris, I really got a piss. Sitting in the parking, damn, it's kind of dark. Got trees and the bugs and everything above it. I don't know what to say, I really got a pee. That's all I can think. As soon as I oh, said that's again. Disgustingly uh, well. That's, uh, yeah, it's quite good. Can you rap in Japanese? 
Can I rap in Japanese? You've drunk enough alcohol to make this work. I've drunk enough alcohol to make it work. Jammin' friggin' nice. City Pop Chris. Norm with the F-bomb out of the gate. Okay, now it's your turn to rap. No. I can't rap. See, that's how you play I, it. I refuse to rap. I screwed up. I did Chris it Chris sounds whistled, brilliant. Ask him about politics, they're spicy. Go to bed, Pete Donaldson. I don't know what time it is in the UK. Pete Donaldson. But you should definitely be in hey, bed right hey, now. Oh, God. That, <laughs> Chris almost blocked you from my channel, Pete <laughs> Donaldson. Pete Maxton. Too much volcano. Is there right amount of volcano? Yes, a strato volcano under 2,200 meters. That is too much volcano. Uh, I like the song. It's good. Excellent. Go buy it. Uh, we've got one here from Fallen133. Norman Chris, what's your favorite location in Japan to film and take pictures? I love the content and I'm a big fan. The biggest of fans. The bestest of fans. I. What's your favorite area? My favorite area in Japan to film. I have to say, I've always been a big fan of Tohoku. I love it up here, but on Journey Across Japan 3 in Kyushu, there was such an incredible oh. diversity of locations. Abandoned oh. islands, volcanoes, tropical paradise, horses, a plane, like... Horses were delicious. You don't get that anywhere else. <laughs> um, yeah, well, since you took Kyushu from me, I've recently really fallen in love with the area in and around Nagano. Right. Between the Alps and some of the hidden forests and everything, there is a lot of really incredible stuff in that area. And it's really only about two and a half air hours. Two and a half word. areas. Uh, two and a half areas from Tokyo. Kamikochi. It's, yeah. It's, I'm going to take off this freaking <laughs> bag because Give it's... It Give it ah, Yeah, it's the Born Japan live show now. So long, Why Mr. Lent. Why you always <laughs> run away with the <laughs> oh, It's back. <laughs> Sabot <laughs> sabotaging your stream. Chris killed the Wi-Fi, and then he like somehow turned on filters. What is this? What have you done? You've destroyed everything. Uh, new Gaijin tips. Never oh. stop believing. <laughs> Don't stop believing. Now I really wanted to karaoke. I'll do. Except I can't. Gaijin sing. tips. Bring lots of money or a credit card. You're gonna need it in your first year, as I discovered. Boring tip, but a necessary one. Yes, I'm doing my shoelaces up. <laughs> I was so distracted by the shoelace journey here. Um, new Gaijin tips. New Gaijin tips. And of course. Oh, why can't I? There we subscribe go. Subscribe to Born Japan. It's the finest channel about Japan. Sure. Lots of tips yeah. there. You can watch the tips in 4K and 8K in some videos. Subscribe to PewDiePie. The only channel that does 8K videos right here. Yeah. The best 8K. 12K right here. Fuck off. <laughs> First in Japan Why to record in 12K. Why is the camera so far K. away? I can't, even, I can't see it. I can't do anything. You're like, wait, you want to be like, is that better? Why, that's too close now. It's so bright. <laughs> uh, I think we missed a couple in here. You did. Yeah. Uh, crisps, uh, Famichiki Crisps is out. Yeah, Norm loved the Sega uh, video. Thank you. Uh, tried telling you about the crisps yesterday, but it got buried. Norm, love your different adventures in all parts of Japan. Really great spots. Now that Chris is next to you, how about an adventure with him? Grab a meal at Anti... Anti... Anti Acids together. Anti Cicada. We, we've done a couple adventures. Um, there's one in the snow and then there's a remote adventure done on a 12k camera which was much better than this it was shot in 12k and it was 12k is that dollar sake pretty much no it's not it's on air on air cup sake on oh my cup. goodness it's like someone squeezed the excitement out of sake like sake i'd like the best sake i ever had yesterday no Last week, I had an award-winning sake and I drank it and I went, this is it. This is the best sake I've ever had. It was so, had a very kind of, it's, it's extremely difficult to describe the taste of sake. It's very delicate, it's very fragrant, kind of sweet, subtle. You could drink it and it was so smooth. This is opposite, the antithesis to all of that It tastes like more. socks. It, it tastes <laughs> like socks, which Norm knows well. Uh, popular cuisine in Toronto. But uh, it tastes very bitter. 
it makes you want to be sick. <laughs> but there is no other drinks around right now. There are no other drinks around right now. Let's stay grammatically correct. Have either of you been to oh, Lake? Fuck. It's so bad. Well, I don't know why you did that to yourself. Oh. Have either of you been to Lake Chuzenji, just north of Tokyo in the Tochigi Prefecture? It happens to be next to a volcano. Chuzenji. You know what? I've I've never been in that area, and I really want to go. I'd really like to go there. You've been to um, Nikko, right? Yeah, uh, Tochigi Nikko. Nikko. I go up there really often, actually. Is it good? It's a nice area. It's Tochigi, like uh, the Nasu area, the emperor has his bissel, a uh, holiday house out in that area. Is it good? So every now and then, I've never seen it, no. but every now and then you'll go up there and the roads will be closed down and they actually have like gunmen hiding in the rice fields. They like completely close down the roads and people line up alongside of them. And if you look down in the alleys of the rice fields, there's like dudes with outfits and like rifles in the rice. Yeah, and I it's, think I'll not go there then. I think yeah. I'll avoid there. It's not every day, obviously. Every it's day. just when the emperor is going up there for his Yeah, visit. but how do I know when the emperor's in town? You know, I'll go there for like a quick drive, take okay. some videos, do some drone Google shots. Calendar, man. Next thing you know, there's a guy with an AR-15 in your face, like, you got my dick on it. Exactly. I don't want to risk that. That's exactly how it happens. I don't happens want to risk that. Too. 100%. Yeah. Oh, I got a couple uh, of the Patreon squad in here. Cynthia saying, two of the sexiest men in one go. Are they watching the same live stream that I I'm watching? I don't think we are. The two sexiest men. And Craig as well, long-time patron, still stuck in the case that uh, get with the times like me and shoot in 4N. I don't even know what that is. 4K? Not even, no, 4N. Shoot in 4N. 4 Newtons. 4 Newtons. It's where the camera is so strong it's held down by the weight of four newtons and tom carter saying get some chicken and one more one cup because the first one cup is going so well uh, you've got to finish it there like you, you i will finish it, it. i'll 100 percent multi nine it. or multi nine have either of you ever played have you ever played the yakuza games briefly but i Which found the um drink from? the cut scenes were so bloody long i didn't feel like i was playing a game i felt like i was watching a film by all means so no yeah not really a fan but they're, 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 they're pretty cool from what i've seen this is i can't get into it um i'm a big fan of your channels have you ever thought about selling prints for all the camera shots you've taken i sell prints do you yeah on tokyolens.com that's not a thing oh where do you sell them i tried to buy tokyolens.com and they're like that'll be thirty-five thousand dollars, and i was like have a good day okay so i sell them on redbubble and they're like linked on twitter and stuff like that so super ashy it's it's wonderful have you sold any prints um i've i've sold my merch on teespring and redbubble mm. teespring now i've got like mugs and a hat and shirts buy them buy them all it's christmas soon ladies and gentlemen if you've got a child or a cat they're gonna want uh like a magic love hotel pillow get a pillow get a shirt buy it to be fair they're quite good they are chris sold his soul I sold it four years ago for a bucket of ramen and a cup, one cup sucker. It's long gone. Have either of you listened to Yellow Magic Orchestra? I actually, I have. Yeah, they're, I like kind of, it. they're kind of trippy, aren't they? Yellow Magic yeah, Orchestra. Yeah, there's, there's something Pretty magical weird. about yeah. it. Odd. Not really oh. my thing, though, actually. Halal meat. That's the whole comment. Excellent. <laughs> Halal meat. That's exactly, that's what I, I like want right now. That's, I would go for that right yeah. now. Yeah. Honestly, I would eat it. Let's enjoy Honestly. halal meat. Are there any kebab places in Sendai? There used to be one, uh, like three minutes from here, but it shut down. But there's supposed to be takoyaki around here. Wait a minute, let me see if it's open. You carry on. Okay. I'll go look for takoyaki. <laughs> I would honestly just, just kill for a kebab. Like Chris has literally just left and he's going to look for takoyaki. Like this is a, this is a thing that's happening. It seems like Chris has found his takoyaki and is now calling me over to join the takoyaki party that is happening. So allow me to grab my one cup sock. Chris is gone. <laughs> it's, it's quite the development. Chris has just disappeared. Things that I was not expecting. Among things that I was expecting, when we started this live stream, I had to go to the washroom. And I have to go to the washroom about five times as much. Two pieces of good news. Number one. Uh huh. Yes, it's me. A brawn in Japan. No. <laughs> Number one, takoyaki. It appears to be open. Number two, there is a toilet not too far from here. It's a very grimy, unpleasant toilet. So we'll want to eat the takoyaki first. Okay. And then you can go there. Okay. 
good friend, right? Super friend. Excellent. Oh my God, super friends. We need rings. Um, so when, yeah. uh, another question about how we know each other. Chris and I met on a cloud uh, about six and a half months ago. And I don't, I don't know. It's covered earlier on in the live stream. We had passed it together. Can you hold this for a second? Since we're both across the street and that street is populated. This is really cool. I like it. It's not my live show. When I do live shows, I get very nervous and tense. When it's someone else's, I don't care what happens. <laughs> I could throw this camera under the tires of a bus. <laughs> Please and, don't do uh, that. I, won't do that. I would I won't appreciate do it, it if this was not thrown under the tires. Chris, can I see bus. your feet? Dum, 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 dum. There they are. Dum, 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 dum. That was my feet. <laughs> Those Chris, were my never, feet. Never let Chris hold it. Only. That's what she said. <laughs> God, fuck off. <laughs> drunk Chris. Ha ha. I'm not drunk actually. He's drunk. You can hear him be like, uh, the, 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 when he's reading the comments. Chris, you look good in glasses. Thank you very much. I think, yeah, you cake it. Actually, do you want to buy the takoyaki? You get the takoyaki. You get the fucking takoyaki. I'm gonna get the takoyaki. You get 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 enough to share. Oh man. Let's let's turn this around. I'll show you. Den 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 den. What flavour of takoyaki did you get? Feet. Excellent. Crispy. A takoyaki eating challenge would be nice. Chris, you sound like you were born drunk. You sound like you, that's a really nice comment. How dare you? How dare you? Yeah, I probably shouldn't hold the camera. This is a bad idea. <laughs> Norm has been out of Canada too long. You got, you got that right. Get him out of here. Is there a length that... <laughs> Christ will always be the drip king. Yes, I am Christ. What's up, Chris? Not even Chris. I love I love having the name Chris because <laughs> everyone just misspells it as Christ. <laughs> Maybe I am Christ. I don't know. Would the Christ, would the real Christ know that he's Christ? Probably not. Be would he be purpose. Would he be in Sendai right now getting takoyaki octopus fried balls? Probably. I know. Sometimes I look at you and I go, oh, Jesus, you again. You, you, the joke doesn't work. You should have been like. I look at you and I think Jesus Christ. Right. You didn't. You didn't finish the show. When are you gonna do Journey Across Japan with Tokyo Lens? Uh, not twice. Never again. Never again. Is someone having a fight over there? Uh, no. Uh, Chris, I'm a Patreon fan here. Going to Kawagoya. Thanks for the entertainment. Thank you very much, Dan. Oh. Look at that. This is the best live show there's ever been. Ever. On like Japan. In the history of history. Yeah. Should we head back to the park? Head over the road, over the road. Because okay. there's no benches otherwise. Uh, let's go right here. Oh my god. It's going from green to red. Any comments? Chris, what food would represent your body or your blood? <laughs> Family Mart chicken. <laughs> um, oh man, I'm getting hungry. Run, says Chris. Chris has come to terms with the fact recently that instead of moving to Japan this year, I might not even be able to visit the country for the next three to four years. Any tips on how to cope with that? I would say um, come on holiday for like a month or something if you can. You know, a lot of people want to live in Japan, but then you get here and you, you know, you might not like it. You might not actually enjoy it. So just bear that in mind, you know. Cool. We're back here at our bench. Hey, we have our own bench. This is cool, this gimbal. Could do like really cinematic shots like this. Okay, it's not going up. Is that it? Is that as high as it goes? I think based on the, the, the angle you have the gimbal, yeah. Man. Oh, oh, here we go. Look, look, look. What are we doing? Oh, this is rubbish gimbal. Why are you blaming the gimbal? <laughs> well, how fast can we go then? Let's try. It's a beard in Japan. Bow, bow. Boom, boom. 
Lens. Explore. Tokyo Lens Explore. The finest channel since abroad in Japan. The Chris Abroad Channel. Every other channel. And then finally, somewhere at the bottom of the list, Tokyo Lens. Almost a perfect break. Oh, nice. <laughs> Look at that. So what we've got right here, ladies and gentlemen, is takoyaki octopus balls. It's a very hot, doughy mess covered in mayonnaise and sauce. Norm is now going to taste one and give us the full review right here in 8K resolution. Go. Guaranteed to burn your mouth. Dum -tch -dum -tch -tch -dum -tch. Is it hot? hot. <laughs> Everyone's saying, a beard in Japan, a beard in Japan. Chris is so drunk. I'm not drunk. I'm just so excited to hang out <laughs> with, with Tokyo Lens Norm. <laughs> That I my enthusiasm is is unparalleled. Chris and Norm, do you ever feel pressured to make content when getting together with friends who also create content? Does it get in the way of your friendship? Yes, yes, it does. <laughs> Absolutely. Especially when I hang out with Norm Tokyo Lens. <laughs> um, we've got a comment here from Patricia. It says, "For the super friends rings, I can imagine that partying with you would be really fun." No, it wouldn't. Especially, <laughs> it'd be fun partying with Norm. Look at his beard. You could, you could take Norm's beard and turn it into a rope and then swing okay. through the mountains. <laughs> Eat your food. <laughs> you got a comment there that you didn't read. Ah. Oh. Uh, Twenty. This one. Ah. Uh, okay. Which one? The one there. Ah, uh, big fan of both of your channels. Have you ever thought about selling prints? We already talked about that. Okay. The answer is yes. My mouth is so burned right oh, you now. Got me one as well. Yeah. Oh, shit. <laughs> thing. Why are you surprised about that? You do you not remember saying get enough for both of us? Well, one is enough for both of us. <laughs> oh my god, it's so hot. I'm not gonna be able to eat this for like half an hour. No. Usually, it's... when I get takoyaki, you you do have to wait like thirty minutes to be able to eat it. It is like molten lava. Like it's yeah. like something out of a volcano. Too there's, much volcano. Too dare much I say. volcano. Yeah. Norm's a braver man than I am. And a, a more fear pressure. I was just more. I need a drink to wash it down, mate. I got some one cup sake. I think I'll go and get a drink. Okay. And you wait here. Do you want anything? <laughs> do you want something to drink? I would love a drink if you don't mind what terribly. Do Literally anything. One cup sake. <laughs> I'll take five. Right. Please don't get me five. One cup sake. <laughs> <laughs> if you've ever had takoyaki. It's so incredibly hot when you first eat it that the only sensation you really get is not really flavor, but more pain. I'm, I am deep, deep within that pain right now. Oh. Oh. And there was a comment there that was all in caps, so that's a thing. Uh, Daniel Vivio says, Hey guys, Chris, thank you for all the laughs. Chris, thank you for... He's gone. Uh, your videos got me to travel to Japan twice where I met the missus. That is absolutely incredible. Congratulations on that. Best from Australia. One of my favorite places in the entire world. Cannot wait to get back to Australia. And I always feel bad about saying stuff like that. Especially considering right now, so many people want to get to Japan, and I can't wait to have you here. Mmm. Mmm. So hot. All right. Now that my mouth is in severe pain, I'm going to go back to B. Wind saying, do a rap collab song with Norm playing the shamisen. I think that sounds more like a, a Joey collab. Then a Chris collab. I think we could do it though. A rap collaboration with just me playing the shamis. It's it's a thing. That and this takoyaki is still so unbelievably hot that I just I'm having trouble processing the heat and the pain. Both of these are are very real, incredible thing. Oh boy. So when we started this live stream, I'd say, oh I don't know. Nearly an hour and a half ago, at the very beginning of the live stream, I realized that I made a, a huge judgment error in not going to the washroom. 
I most certainly should have done that. And now here we are, a considerable amount of time later, me regretting that decision in every single way. So, oh, does Hakoyaki, we need a break. We need a break. I want to give a huge shout out while I can to the mod squad who has been moderating and taking care of all of this. Thank you guys so much. I don't know what this was. It was just me being like, yay, thank you guys so much with my flailing hand because apparently I'm a Muppet. And uh, <clears throat> to the Patreon crew who keeps the adventures on this channel running, we are going to be doing another kind of across Japan adventure right here on Tokyo Lens Explorer in the next couple of weeks. I would say as early as two to three weeks from now, it is already being planned out based on suggestions by the Patreon crew. So if you want to be a part of those plannings, this is an official invitation to you. But we are going to be traveling, making a ton of more videos and live streams right here on the Tokyo Lens Explorer channel. So th this is your invitation. Hit that subscribe button, give some love, make sure the notifications are on, all that stuff. It'll be a ton of fun. So. And really this one cup sake, if there's like a, a lower floor for like the worst sake that there is, I'm pretty sure, pretty sure that this sake hits it. And Chris is well on his way back with two very alcoholic looking bottles of water. So, Woo. I got you some water. It's a very good beverage. They say in Germany, mineral wasser. Mineral, oh. mineral wasser. What do they say in French? Le water. Le water. <laughs> <laughs> um, and they're saying, when do you think Japan will allow foreigners oh, to move to Japan? I don't know. I, I literally have no <laughs> idea. <laughs> I have no more information than you do at this point, and Chris is dying. Oh. How's the takoyaki? Mine is just falling apart at this point. <laughs> Chris has just left. <laughs> oh my god. The gimbal can't even follow you. It's just given up. Yeah. The gimbal the no voice. longer works the hottest takoyaki, the hottest thing that has ever got in my mouth. Thank you so much for making me eat it immediately after it being made. It's really good takoyaki, but it's literally just incinerated in my mouth. It's like, there's the sum, and then there's the center of that takoyaki. And that was like, no. So, I look in the zone. Yo, what the fuck? Dream collab. This is like, we, there's like over on the Tokyo Lens channel, there's like multiple videos. That we have worked on together, so I want. I'd love to watch. I'd love to be in this live show, but uh, I actually want to watch the Takeo Lens live show. Word has it, Takeo Lens is on a live show right now. Show. Word has it. <laughs> wow, there's only like a, a three-second delay. <laughs> oh, that was actually Listen, wait, a yeah. surprisingly <laughs> quick delay. That's trippy. Peanuts. That's trippy. Peanuts. Two seconds. Yeah. It's a stop! It's killing it. The lens show. Well, congratulations. We just lost 4,000 viewers. <laughs> There's quite a lot of people watching this. Why is this happening? Why is this happening? Is this so. Tell me the concept of Tokyo Lens Explore. The Tokyo of Con. The, like, there's been the no ex Tokyo of Concept. Tokyo Con. <laughs> the Tokyo there's of been, Concept Lens Explore. There's been a distinct lack of exploration tonight. It's been mostly you getting drunk and slurring your words, walking around with your beard, saying things in a silly voice. Uh, There's no exploration. This is good. Take that your is, lens, that take is your lens, lens disappointment explore. edition. That's, that's what this should be called. That's just heartbreaking. That's take your lens. Honestly, rubber. unnecessarily aggressive. I'm going to make my own channel, Sendai Lens. Yeah, you, it's probably not as lucrative, but it's, it's going to be good. It's going to be great. Roasted. People roasted. will see the eight streets. Somebody said roasted there. Boom, roasted. It's interesting, like, I, I love the, the culture of, like, roasting someone in North America. It's, mm. I, it, 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 it feels kind of like, 
weird. In the wow. UK, we don't really roast people, we just insult them. Thank you, sweet archangel. And oh. then you get beaten up. <laughs> we just, we don't really roast people, we just insult them. It doesn't really, I just feel like the whole roasting thing doesn't really work in the UK. You know, it doesn't mm. feel, it feels different. I think, I think whenever I've seen roasting in sort of North American culture, it always feels like it's, you're holding back, right? Yeah, like, like you're, it's kind of like whereas, a, it's friendly. Whereas in the UK, you're just like, you're a fucking idiot. I don't like your hat. You're an idiot. And then you oh. just get punched in the face and that just doesn't work. People in, people in the UK are violent, monstrous individuals. Especially me. No, I'm it's not, not violent. It's not the image. <laughs> but, you know, the funny part of it is, so the office, the American office, was based off the Japanese office. And uh, um, the way, did I say Japanese? I meant British. Destroy I, him in the comments. <laughs> destroy him. Shut up. And we are, uh, yeah. So when I was walking out to meet you today, I was listening to the, uh, the office podcast. And right. they were talking about an episode with roasting. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh. And what did you discover? Absolutely nothing, but... I don't know, I just find the roasting thing weird. I don't want to miss. Big up from Ireland! Hey! I sent a super chat, but you guys must have missed it. So sorry about that. Enjoy your sour plum strong zero on me, lads. Thank you so much. Also, lads might be one of, like, lad might be just one of my favorite words in English that I feel like I'm not allowed to use. No. Like, can't get away with using it. Just also, like, slices of Japan, thank you. How do you, you. say asshole in, like, your accent? Asshole. Asshole. See, it doesn't sound you're as You're a real asshole. <laughs> you're like, in, in British, dude, it doesn't you're work. you're an asshole. In British, it just feels weird. Like, oh, shit. <laughs> in British, you're like, you're an asshole. It doesn't <laughs> work, does it? But I also Sorry, can't... Sorry, mate, you're an asshole. But I also can't call doesn't you work. a Muppet. Muppet. Like, you can call me a Muppet. You can, you'd be like, you're an absolute Muppet. And I'm like, you're a Muppet. Like, it just, it's just Doesn't not work. the same Doesn't thing. Work. No. Chris calls me a Muppet a lot. What's the proof on the one cup sake? Three. <laughs> it's, it's so bad. I don't even think they would have those stats on here, to be honest. It says in 60 seconds after drinking, you will perish. Chris is still watching the Tokyo Lens live stream on his phone. He's so excited about it's pretty it. Good. Is it a good idea to get a Genski license as I am from a country not eligible for conversion? To be completely honest, unless you're traveling far distances, I do not recommend a motorbike whatsoever. This is coming from somebody who's ridden a motorbike. When I first got my motorbike, they're not I was told it's not about if you have an accident, it's about when you have an accident. And honestly, everybody I know who owns or has owned a motorbike has had an accident. Dogan's had an accident. The second day I drove a moped, I crashed it in Rome. The second day I drove a two-wheeled like vehicle, I crashed it. Yep. And I never want to get on a motorbike or moped again. Even if it was very fun, until I crashed it in Rome, in a tunnel. I crashed in a tunnel about 500 meters in front of the Vatican. Yeah, some driver, presumably Italian, it was Rome, uh, just cut me up and it was like, I was driving like this, so I was on the moped like, oh yeah, I love Rome, it's great, isn't it? And then someone in an Alfa, <laughs> in an Alfa Romeo was like, I'll show him, and pulled in front of me like that, and I was like, oh my God, and I had to sort of, it was either go into the back of the Alfa Romeo, or going to the wall. I chose wall, and uh, the moped sort of hit the wall, but luckily the moped took the blow, and my knee, could have been worse, but the handlebars like fell off, oh. and my knee was, it, <laughs> the impact was so bad that my trousers fused to like my knee, and for like a whole week, I, well, for about three or four days, I couldn't take my trousers like off my knee. I had to like, go to a doctor's, and they had to, they had to like do an incision to like get the, Jesus. Long story short, don't ride a moped in Rome. So, I, uh, did we talk about my crash? No. I crashed about two to three months ago. 
the day before, I guess All more right. than two to three months ago, the day before making the uh, March 11th documentary, I was riding through a multisando. And my motorbike is customized, it's lengthened and lowered, and it's very slow. And I got a slow bike on purpose because I'm the kind of person who, if I had a fast bike, I know I would die. So I got a slow bike. Right. And I was going through a multisando. I was probably doing 35 kilometers an hour on a multisando street. Not too fast. It's like slow as hell. Mm. And from the left lane, right lane, I'm in the left lane, a taxi suddenly pulls in front of me and just stops. The customer must have been like, oh, here, please. And so I went to go around him, but a car was coming from behind me on the right oh, lane. No. So I was like, oh, crap, I'm going to get hit. I can't change lanes. There's not enough time to stop by this taxi. And so I turned in kind of strong and the bike just slid out. Wet day. How were you? I was fine. Luckily, the car managed to go around me, didn't hit me. Bike's intake got ripped off, sucked up a ton of dust and dirt, destroyed the engine. Jesus. But I was fine. And I've just been like, no more motorbikes. And Norm, I rode that thing for almost 10 years. And Norm picked himself off the street and said, yes, it's time to create a channel dedicated to live show entertainment. It's time to create Tokyo Lens Explore. And that is the origin of the Tokyo Lens Explore channel. That's exactly how this happened. Uh, what is your guys' favorite or most memorable location in Japan to drink, have fun, and explore the area? Right here, right now. I'm going to be honest with you. You took me to a really cheap bar once. Me? Yeah, like a retro bar where all the drinks and food were like show up prices or something. Non-inflation non non adjusted prices. I don't remember where or what it was. It was like a really... You remember the retro yeah, no, con? It's called, it's called Humber. Okay. It's a 1960s restaurant chain. I love it. you got to go there. Humber. H-A-N-B-E-Y. Humber. Go there now. Yeah, go there right now. Right now. I'll dare you. I take everyone there and they love it. It's... I haven't been there in a while though. It's quite noisy. They play like music from the 1960s at a disgustingly loud volume. <laughs> Exactly. Just, just a fun. moment. I've got to unsubscribe from the Tokyo Lens oh. channel and Tokyo Lens Explore. I'm going to unsubscribe from all the Tokyo seems, channels with a lens in the name. I don't know. It seems kind of. No, we should get Chris out and camping. A few people would like to see that. I get a lot of those comments. Give me a million dollars and I will camp in a tent for a day. Chris Seems like not, a fair trade. Chris does not like the idea of camping. I don't mind the idea of camping. I think it, 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 it I don't like the idea of doing it in Japan because there's bears and campsites plus but bears equals not fun. Bears, okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna counterpoint here. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Very yep. subtle. I appreciate the subtlety. <laughs> <laughs> bears have a set path that they use for up to 10 generations. And they always take that path, their families do. So, if you yeah, have a campsite... straight through the fucking campsite. No, if you have a campsite Roar, that's never had an campsite. issue with bears, then bears don't take that path. No, I've met a bear, and they told me that they especially like campsites, because there's like picnic baskets and shit they can eat. Bears beats Battlestar Galactica. <laughs> Big shout out to Christina Applegate. <laughs> She's watching. Christina Applegate's watching. Uh, Christina Applegate's watching? Yeah. It's wonderful. I'm so happy Norm, about that. you should get Chris out in camping. You've read that one. Yeah. Is that one they haven't read though? I read that one. Oh. Favorite and most memorable location. I don't know. I mean, I, the, the thing with camping is it is kind of cool. I like no. sitting around a fireplace, cooking a sausage. Oh. Lots of sausages, to be fair. And uh, yeah, the, food, the food's good, isn't it? Yeah. Let's go camping. But then you sort of wake up and you think, oh, I want a shower. And then you, there is no shower. There are no showers. And it's like tipping a bottle of mineral water over your head. That's not a shower, that's shit. So. Well, I, when you get home, you can shower. If you camp for one night, you can just shower when you get home. I just, it just feels wrong. 
It just feels horrible. There Dang. must be a better way. That's why I use the camper van. Let's tip this bottle over Norm now and reenact shower. I would really rather not. Uh, how late do trains... This is happening, isn't it? How late do trains... Oh, that's... Oh, my God. It's so I need fun. to wake you up, Norm. Oh, I hate you so much right now. <laughs> that was fresh, cold water, too. Oh, all right. Cool. That's happening. Um... So how late do trains run in Japan was the question there. That was not it at all. Uh, and I need to wake you up. You were slurring your words too much. Ever get stranded or have to take an expensive taxi? I've gotten stranded, but I just waited until five o'clock in the morning and took the first train. Trains usually run until somewhere between midnight and 1 a.m. in Tokyo. How about here in Sendai? I don't know, but did you hear that story in March about a woman in Yokohama got in a taxi and the taxi driver was like, hi, doors, or where do you want to go? And the, the woman was like, Totori San Dunes. Yeah. And the taxi driver was like, what? And the Totori San Dunes are, what, a thousand kilometers from Tokyo? Easily. That's like a, maybe an eight, nine hour drive, probably longer than that. No, about nine hours drive. And this was like, I think 3 a.m. in the morning, probably a little bit drunk. The taxi driver probably shouldn't have done it. But it's Japan. People work hard. Taxi drivers are very good here. They'll take you anywhere and back. And this taxi driver drove the woman to Totori San Jeans. He was like, I'll take you, we'll drive for nine hours. Are you sure you can pay? And she was like, yeah, yeah no problem. We'll, we'll get the San Jeans, I'll pay, it would be great. And he's like, okay. Nine hours of driving. They got to the Totori San Jeans. He was like, okay, we're here. We're at the Totori San Jeans. Here we are, nine hours of driving. That'll be about $1,200. And she went, bye, and then ran out the car. And the taxi driver was like, Fuck. And uh, they, 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 she went, to, I think he handed her into the police. He took her to the police station. Understandable. And from what I understand, he didn't get the money back and they drove back to Tokyo. So the moral of the story is don't be a taxi driver. The moral, I almost, and when you ran away, I was like, end the street. <laughs> <laughs> Finally. Is that one on the Abroad in Japan podcast? Can Why I is there so many people watching? What's happened? Why is there 3,400 people? I have no idea. Does somebody like, how, why? That's not normal. Did somebody like share it on Twitch or Twitter or something? They might have. Apart from, oh, that's creepy. That's Hello from people. Italy. What's your favorite? What's your favorite Japanese beer? Sapporo beer. Yeah, it's, it's Sapporo, isn't it? Sapporo's good. I got no complaints about Sapporo. How long before the two of you invade the Trash Taste Studio? They, they, they have. They have auto lock. Uh, trash days. I, I mean, I camp outside the Trash Day studio every day from 8 a.m. till 4 p.m. Just waiting, just hoping, praying they'll let me in. And once every three to four months, they do. They let me in and we have fun. And then I go back to waiting outside in the gutter and uh, you sort of repeat the process. So hopefully I should be back on before the year's out. Pray, pray for and me. You know all three lads, right? I've literally only ever met Joey, so. Yeah, they're good, they're good lads. It goes Gaunt, Joey, Malin, the, uh, the one that yeah, yeah, basically yeah, runs yeah, the show. Yeah. Um, there's a whole team of people that work there. It's really great. And it's a great show. Is there any YouTuber you both haven't already would like to collab with in the long term future? It gets to a point where you just like, if you want to work with somebody, you just DM them, right? And then. More often than not, you become friends. And uh, then that's... Is there anybody you like? You want to meet that you haven't met? I could see you and Philip Bloom doing a thing. I mean, I've spoken with Philip Bloom a few times. Great guy. From the same town. We often talk on Facebook. We'd love to show him around. I, I, uh, every now and then, someone really cool messages me. I had a message from Tom Scott. Not too oh long no ago. shit! Yeah. <laughs> he was like, oh. if I'm in Japan, let's hang out. And I was like, let's make videos. Let's do it. So you never know. Screw who's video. I just want to have a beer with that guy. Yeah, yeah. Just want to ask him. Like, well, when he three comes questions. over, maybe we'll go somewhere with just meet Tom and I, and I'll send you a photo. That'd but, like, be fantastic. I'll send you a photo of us having so a beer, and then you Appreciate can look that. at the photo and drink the beer, and then, and then drink the beer, and it'll be like a 4D experience. Like, you're almost there. Right? But yeah. um, it, it's a weird thing though, YouTube. You never know who's watching, and that's one of the coolest aspects of it, right? Like Susan uh, Wojcicki, the CEO of YouTube, yeah, watched, yeah. shouted out in a Japan video this year, and I was like, what? 
That's mental. So you never know who's watching. Yeah. Oh. Never know who's watching. Uh, I'm actually weirdly excited about this Tom Scott thing. Tom Scott. I am an oddly... I wouldn't say overly is he favorite, dedicated. Is he your favourite British YouTuber? He's honestly among the top one. He is pretty good. <laughs> He's here, I'd like, I would like to apply Tom Scott with lots of sake and see what happens. Yeah. Do a live stream, similar to this, but with less slurred words. With less slurred words. Yeah, Chris oh, has been I think slurring someone a said lot. Connor tweeted it. God, this fucking interface is... Connor really... tweeted in reply to your tweet, which is pulling more people in. No, I Down see. that Connor dog. Thanks, He's been Connor. messaging me all evening about something. I was in Sendai last weekend. What? Where do you recommend in Sendai for food, drinks, areas with izakai? Right there. Do you want to go to the toilet still? I always want to go to the uh, toilet. I think it's time we move. We've been here for like an hour now. Name drop someone who DM'd you. Tokyo Lens. All right, let's go. Abroad in Japan. Let's Chris, clear up this up? fucking mess of Would you shit. rather fight one horse size? Oh, this is a sake. good question. No, I like this. Would you rather fight one horse sized duck or a hundred duck sized horses? Let's get out of here. All right. Come on, you got to answer that question. I would rather get out of here. Put, yeah, put this in the bag. A hundred duck sized horses all the way. There's another way I've like, I've turned into like Tokyo lawn lens is like fucking camera man, dustbin man, trash guy. Okay, yeah, you right. take this bag. I'll take this. There's a 7-Eleven over there. Put that in the bin. Um, let's get out there. Um, the, <laughs> this is so fiddly. This, <laughs> this, is, is, a is, this is a disastrous live stream. <laughs> Great shots of our shoulders. Um, <laughs> Not in Japan, ladies and gentlemen. What are you guys doing right now? Where are you? Where are you watching from? Let me know in the comments. This is a truly global experience with 3,000. <laughs> 3,500 people watching. <laughs> That's insane. That's too many people. I'm scared now. That's too many people. Please. <laughs> Stop. Stop watching. <laughs> go, and, go and do something. Write a book. Subscribe to Japan. Um, the Japan. I'm watching from really nice. Germany, Sweden, uh, London, mate. London, Canada, Australia. Too close to Chris's face. Michigan, Spain, Estonia, Canada, Portugal, a beard. <laughs> Indonesia, Taiwan, California, Denmark, Mozambique, Finland, Mozambique. Netherlands, Toronto, Winnipeg. Anybody from Zimbabwe? I love just, I just love the word uh, probably Zimbabwe. Is, probably is. Uh, Mexico, Indonesia, behind you. Nothing there. Vatican City. That's where I crashed the moped in the story uh, 15 minutes ago. Vatican City. My memory of Vatican City forever ruined by ploughing into a tunnel wall at 35 miles per hour. Um, there's a bin in the 7-Eleven there if you want to put the rubbish okay. in the bin. You've, <laughs> you've become the bin man now. I'm the bin man. What's, what's bin man, bin man, dustbin man in Canadian? Garbage man. Garbage man. Garbage man. So this right here is, uh, is Kokobuncho. This is the nightlife district in Sendai. This is Norm Tokyo Lens and 7-Eleven. Uh, it's a pretty busy night here in Sendai. It's a Friday, and uh, now that sort of COVID, the COVID situation has improved, people are coming back out. They recently got rid of the lockdown situation. So, yeah, it's nice. Things are back to normal. I've just realised I'm walking quite far away from Norm, and he's got the Wi-Fi. He's walking very far away. The internet connection's going to go, and he's going very far away. This, this is running off of Norm's Wi-Fi. And he's like, he's gone really far away now, so yeah, it's good enough. Hello. How are you doing? Uh, I'm popping. Popping? What's your name? Chris. 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 Ice cream. Ice cream. Ice cream. Very delicious. So this you know. So this you know. You can eat it. Yeah. I always eat ice cream <laughs> every day. Every day? Every day. Uh, it's bad no, for your no, health. Very bad healthy. Your, very healthy? Yeah. <laughs> Quiet there. Quite oh. Tall. Scary guy. Very scary. I know, right? Scary. I'm good English. Natsuki <laughs> <laughs> 2.0. See you. Yeah. Nice oh, guy. <laughs> there you go. See, there are some cool locals in Sendai. That's... <laughs> <laughs> is this guy drunk? Is he cheeky? Yeah, he's drunk. He's quite clearly drunk. Um, the thing is, in Japan, people really do lighten up after they've had a beer. 
and it's yeah. only one beer, and then they, <laughs> they, 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 they just change. It doesn't yeah. take any more. He was quite a handsome dude. He did look like he did look like he's from some sort of J-pop, J-rock <laughs> band or something. It's a pretty cool lad. That was the highlight of the show, and you weren't even here. You were in the 7-Eleven looking for a toilet. And there was no toilet. I'm, t I'm taking you to the toilet. Oh, there is a toilet. Yeah, there is a toilet. This is I, I Tokyo Lens. This that. is the Tokyo Lens Explore Channel. We're supposed to be exploring. <laughs> and all we've done so far is burn our mouths on takoyaki and look for a fucking Seriously, toilet my that mouth isn't there. Is in so much Tokyo pain. Lens Explore. You don't even know. I can taste and feel nothing. There's 3,600 people watching you looking for a toilet. This is a this fantastic is shit entertainment. Fantastic. There's like to build. there's a guy on a bus in Brazil watching this. He's thinking <laughs> like, why am I watching this <laughs> shit channel when I could be like. Going for a swim. There's, there's, oh, there's a girl in Sweden Hit who should be doing her homework button. and she's watching this. Oh. Uh. I'm like minutes away from breach. <laughs> like this. I mean, yeah, this is a problem. It's public toilets in Japan are few and far between. Um, let's go down this very sinister looking street. Here it is. No, it isn't. There you go. <laughs> this time taking Norm to kill him. Fantastic. I'm glad that you have hobbies. Are you ready to die, Norm Sun? Very important for life. Yes. Is it really a walk from back here? It genuinely feels like you're taking me back here to kill me. <laughs> I am going to kill you. <laughs> but only after you've been to the restroom. Yeah. Um, I am a little bit lost. We are going to find that toilet. <laughs> Don't worry. This is, this, is this is sad. There's a guy in Mozambique, quite literally watching this, coming here to discover Japanese culture. <laughs> And all he's got is a guy with a beard and a silly hat looking for a toilet, going, oh my god, I need a toilet, guys, help me, guys. Eh, yeah, fucking hell. Dick to this crappy live show. You wouldn't, you, wouldn't, you wouldn't get this live stream on, a, on the Abroad in Japan channel. You get quality content. Not this. You know. We're not, this isn't even a good live stream. All IRL streamers do is they go and meet Japanese girls that are attractive, and that's content. They don't need to do anything original You're not or exciting. An attractive Japanese girl? No, this is. Your ad was wildly misleading. <laughs> like, that's what you've got to do to be an IRL streamer. You've got to look for attractive individuals and then be annoying and harass them. All right, do you want to hold the camera for a bit? Because this is fucking. <laughs> Chris has just lost it with the camera. It's done. Okay. There's gotta be. Is that a washroom there? It looks yes. like a washroom. I'll tell you, I'm not streaming that. What? No. <laughs> <laughs> oh. This is a very shady district. It's an incredibly shady district. I'm not exaggerating. This is the sort of the, uh, this is, the red light district of Sendai. We have stepped into, if there is a wrong part of town, we have most certainly stepped into, I'm gonna hand this Alas, to you. It might be the wrong side of town, but there is a toilet. And Norm is now, is now going there. I would show you. There he goes. So here we are, in the dark. I'm about to get murdered. Um, probably I'm going to get murdered. This is a very sinister looking park. <sighs> Can't wait to see you next week, Norm, says Mitchell. He's not here. He's in the toilet, Mitchell. You, you picked the wrong stream here. Um, look at this building. Look at this. Right. The problem I have with IRL streams is you have someone like me fucking about with the camera in public, not showing you good things because all you can see is my face. Let's turn the camera around and then let's turn this way. Look at that. That's architecture, that is. It's definitely a not a tacky holdover from the 1980s. It's glorious. Um, Morix, here he comes, back from the restroom. Okay. Is it a good toilet? I feel like five. There's 3,700 people watching this now. That's you don't. You don't deserve to be here. <laughs> Hold this camera. Where are you going? I deserve to be. Here. Why have you? You've drunk. You've drunk too much apple juice. Hold this. Clearly. Fucking hell. Where's the toilet? It's clearly back there. Enjoy. Now Chris is the one who's gone. This is honestly quite the shady area. I wasn't expecting this. I'm actually. I don't know if I'm surprised or not surprised that Chris knows this area so well. Um, there's a stage over here, and I have no idea what it's for, but it exists. So, you know, you were asked to stream your wonderful Steve. Thank you so much for that. Honestly, the, the shadiness 
of this area and the people who have been walking it as we arrived. And as we do this, it has slowly started to rain. I wonder, you know what? If we go this way, let's see if Chris will even find us. We'll just leave. That's it. We'll hide. And if he finds us, he finds us. If he doesn't, he doesn't. But we're going to find out. Let's see. Let's see if Chris is going to hide out in these bushes here. I have my doubts. I wonder if he'll just, there's like a dude just sitting there. Just hanging out in the bush. Hello from Gulfport, Mississippi. Big fan, love your videos. Thank you so much. If you guys haven't subscribed to the Tokyo Lens Explorer channel, this channel right here, hit that subscribe button and turn on the notifications. You won't miss any of these crazy live streams that are impromptu. And I'm not gonna lie, it feels like Chris has been gone for some time. Can't he just watch the stream to find you? He could, he could, but I, I feel like he might be busy with something else. Someone's saying no sound. I think you may have just turned off your own speakers. I don't, I don't think Chris is coming back. I think we've lost him. That's it. Chris is gone. He's not going to be able to find us. Oh, let's, oh, he just came out. All right, we're going to duck down. See if he can find us. I feel we're actually really bad about this. He's, he started looking around. Okay, he's started searching. We'll just duck down. I think I feel like he's probably found us. <laughs> he's most certainly found if you us. Look up the word "funny cunt" in the dictionary. You just get a photo of Norm Tokyo Lens's face. Because he go. looks so good right now, so handsome. I didn't. <laughs> we had to do something to make it fun. There's a lot of Uber Eats out here in Sendai too. There? Wasn't expecting that. Um, we're going into like the, the heart of the Sendai red light district. Okay. And, uh, oh, look at that. What do you what do you drop? <laughs> what do you drop? Shot cocktail and food. It's the perfect combo. Let's do it. Yay. Woody. I've always wanted to go to the Woody Drop. Imagine opening a rest, uh, bar and just being like, what should we call it? Let's call it Woody Drop. <laughs> Why? Just do it. The rain has started. It has. It'll, it'll be cool, right? Like, it's sort of just been great in the rain. Right? <laughs> it's starting to. Cameras aren't. <laughs> I once brought a friend down here. And he said he found it more intimidating than what's the place in Shinjuku? Kabukicho. Kabukicho. The red light district in Shinjuku. Huh. He said he found this more intimidating. I can understand that though. Be it was Chris Ockenay. Um, <laughs> yeah, I, it, it, it can be a little, in, a little bit intimidating. There's lots of like thuggish looking visuals. Ah. Uh -huh. um, they're all trying to sort of rope you into places. But actually there's some good restaurants and bars and uh, yeah, it's not a bad area. Very cool at night, very cool. Like Kabukicho, they're very used to seeing you. Right. Whereas like an area like this feels like you're invading on someone else's culture. Sure. This way, let's go right here. There are a lot of people out today. <laughs> Is this the Tokyo Abroad channel? Yeah. Why not? Yeah. Hey guys. <laughs> hey guys. <laughs> he said it and he went for it and I love it. It takes some guts, man. It's a pretty cool street there, right? What do you mean by shady? Sh shady as in I might be missing a kidney later or just shady as in unkept? <laughs> it's just intimidating, it's intimidating. Uh, but you know, it's it's not too bad. There is a mini shrine here, so mm. that's a thing. It's very freshly painted too. It says 
Hanging camera. Criminal camera. Where is the camera? I didn't think this would have the hour of spending my Friday night looking for a security camera at a shrine in the red light district. <laughs> a standard evening with Tokyo Lens. And actually, I'm not going to lie, that sounds like a pretty standard evening. <laughs> oh, I love this street. Let's get an over shoulder shot. Yeah. More over shoulder video shot. Video game mode. Video game mode. Video, yeah. video game mode engaged. All right. And Laura in here with a super chat saying, just finished work, go and enjoy another drink on me. Laura, thanks so much. Laura designed the Tokyo Lens Explore Hello Pigeon Pigeon Club merch. This is an insane amount of people. I honestly can't remember the last time that I've been around this many people. This is where you die. Again? <laughs> Pretty cool, though. Not gonna lie. I had no idea Sendai was this active. Last time I yeah, came, yeah, it was yeah. just daytime stuff, and that was it. So, yeah, as I said earlier, like Sendai has been shut for about three months now. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, they've reopened it. It's back in the game. Pretty cool, though. Yeah. Turn the... Boom. Chris is definitely drunk. I'm not honestly like that drunk. I'm actually just, <laughs> not on that drunk. Uh, when when I when I do a live show on a channel that's not mine, I let my hair down. Not that I've got a lot of hair. I got it cut last Tuesday. I let my hair down. I relax a bit. If this mm. was the Braun Japan live show, I'd be really stuck up and like, oh yes, look, there's a shrine and a bicycle in Japan, Sugoi. But because it's your channel, and there's only four thousand people. <laughs> oh god, that's quite a lot. Uh -oh. <laughs> I thought there's like. <laughs> I thought it was like 300 people watching. Oh dear. Okay. Thanks so much. Um, the vote of confidence. Uh, I feel it's good. All right, let's read some it. questions. Got one here. I can't hear Chris and the lens needs uh, the lens needs a wipe, please. <laughs> you, know, you can give me a wipe. <laughs> How do we wipe the lens? That is all right. That's okay. We're good. All right, let's get going. Let's down it. Okay. Where to next? Uh, maybe let's explore this street just Well, that's a what this, this channel's all about, exploration, isn't it, Norm? It's called yeah. the Tokyo Lens Explore Channel. That's what Norm does. That it is. He explores. I explore. To be fair, you usually get up at like 3 a.m. or 4 a.m. or some silly o'clock time. Actually, I usually get up at 3 a.m. to do the live streams that start at like 4 a.m. and You're a madman. Oh, sorry, I'll take a second it to actually oh. give the lens a bit Cleaning of a Cleaning the Tokyo Lens? All right. Oh, All right. That made it worse, way it's worse. so much worse. So much volcano. Don't use your mask to wipe the lens. Oh, all right. It's good. I feel like I'm in like a first person FPS date with Tokyo Lens Norm. It is by what <laughs> it is what can only be described as the worst possible date. Um, look at this. Look at those graphics. Amazing. 4K, 60 FPS. Look at that! Look at the look at the CGI, the characters, the NPC characters. That guy looked like he wanted to stab me. Um, <laughs> Chris, the trash taste, the trash taste veteran guest. Um, you're known for your first first guest, first of the new year, first or multiple times in a row. How about first time with two guests? Bring Pete Donaldson along. I would love to. And indeed, we had Pete Donaldson leave a cheeky comment earlier on. He's sitting in a room somewhere in Essex, having a great day. All right, here we go. Look at that, look at these graphics. Uh-oh. Getting run over by a taxi. It's, the take it's what the Tokyo Lens Explore channel's all about. Fucking hell. This is very busy. It's exciting to see Sendai back to life though. It's been, uh, it's been bad. Clean the lens, clean the lens, everyone says. Oh. Fucking stupid lens. Right, there you go. Rain is the thing. Is it's that? Happening. I think I've just destroyed your phone. <laughs> there there we go. A, that's good. That's good. There's a button in the front that if you press it twice, yeah, I know, I know. She just recenters. It's like magic. There's a love hotel here. Are we going in? Yeah, is... <laughs> Everyone is just so excited to see us. I think everyone's just genuinely excited to be outside again. 
I, I do feel like I'm in a Yak is a video game. Yeah. So Not doing a very good job reading the comments. What? Huh? Yeah. Uh, whoo! Well, the rain has started to hit. The night has been fun. Has it? And to be honest, we've almost been streaming for two nearly hours? two hours. Jesus. Yeah. You know what that is. What's up here? It's two hours too long. I've got to find out what's up here. Disappointment. So I'm going to give these it's stairs a, a rating. Don't go up there. Don't go up there. I'm going up there. It's a restaurant. I got to know what's up the stairs, dude. Cri get to join me. Oh, come on. There's got to be at least a half decent view up there. All right, Chris is not willing to check out what's up the stairs. There's a restaurant here. He claims the whole thing is only restaurants. He's from Sendai, so I really should trust him. But there's got to be at least a bit of a view. I give these stairs a solid four out of ten. Gives you a half decent overhead view. I've seen worse views. And Chris ran away. Woo! That was a much bigger step than I remember. So if you guys haven't already, do me a favor. Give that like button some love. Give that subscribe button some love. And be ready to leave something in the comments. All right. How was it? How was your fetch quest? Honestly, it was the best set of stairs I've ever been up the and you best missed it. set of stairs. So, are you guys up late or early? Ugh. Neither. It's uh, okay, kind of, it's midnight. It's kind of late. So, uh, Chris, thanks for joining us today. Oh man, I, you know, I've had some fun in my time. I've had fun, and I've had a lot of fun. And this is down here. Can't control the camera. There you go. I had that fun was good, well. it? Yeah. If I could explain, if I could describe this live show in one word, that word would be, this man's going to kill us. <laughs> yeah. There's this guy who's just like stopping and staring at us. He's like... Maybe it's cock a isn't it? You're not allowed yeah. to film it. Oh, yeah. Uh, it could be like a pimp or something. He might be. He might be trying to sell us. Yeah, we're pretty. Well, we've had a fun evening. Uh, subscribe to Take Your Lens Explore. Yay! And he's getting his phone out and getting his friend to, to come over. Yay! Let's let's gonna have a good time. Let's maybe move. <laughs> so we're gonna get moving. Thank you guys so much for joining tonight, and we will see you again real soon. Good fun, wasn't it? Still streaming. Oh, good lord. That's what happens when you stream in a red light district, isn't it? Terror. Terror every turn. <laughs> Leave me something in the comments, guys. I'll see you again real soon. Unsubscribe. Unsubscribe. Yeah, I mean, stop, stop, stop. Unsubscribe to the Tokyo Lens channel.